If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be talking about the newest weekend of glitches, guys. Now, again, this isn't meant to be negative towards the A. It's more amount just like, I know a lot of you guys probably, I know a lot of you guys probably deal with half the stuff, if not most, if not more than what we deal with publicly on Twitter and YouTube and what we go over, right? So I know a lot of you guys probably feel like you're in the darkness of all these issues you've been dealing with and no one understands them. Because whenever I talk about these things in my videos, people comment like, oh, bro, I thought it was just me. Like, it makes you feel better to know it's other people. Imagine being that guy, right, with no friends that play Madden. You're the only guy. Because I, I was that guy for a little bit, for a while. Like, I was the only guy who played Madden. I didn't really follow Twitter too much for a while. And there was a time when I was like, if I got, if my player got glitched away, like, I didn't know who to talk to, who to, who to tell, who to ask. Like, does this happen to you? Like, am I going to get it back? What's the update? There's a Twitter account that tweets out that they're going to be fixing stuff. I didn't know. So I feel like when I make these videos, you guys can get an idea like, okay, you're not the only one. It'll probably make you feel a little bit better. But uh, before we get into the video, guys, shout out to the Poodle Squad member today, which is Gregory Van Goku. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. If you guys need coins for anything, smash uh, the like button down below as well as head over to Mutt Reserve. And of course, turn on that notification bell, boys. If you want to be shouting the Poodle Squad, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and be subbed. Now, let's get into this. So... This week, we dealt, I, I dealt personally with a few glitches that kind of ruined my solo battle and weekly league experience, which again, it just really sucks to me. Not about the game itself, but the fact that I kind of, I need coins. I, I don't want to rely on packs all year to actually get coins. And because of the issues that we are dealing with in the game, it's made it impossible for me to really get those easy coins I could have gotten. Let's start with the first glitch that people are probably talking about, right? The solo battles glitch. So throughout the week, my solo battles were disappearing and I wasn't actually able to play them, Right. But that wasn't the first glitch. The first glitch is my Xbox kept turning off. So I was top 100 in the world, doing really good, right? And my Xbox turned off on the final, the final, the second to last game. So I was like, okay, I can't get top 100 anymore. That that sucks. I was so upset, but I was like, you know what? I still want my, my soul battle wins. I, I still want to get at least legend, right? Or something, or ultimate, whatever it's called. I won soul battles again. My Xbox turned off again. And then I was like, now nah, I can't, I probably, I won't even be able to get that because I'm going to at least turn off two more times after that, right? So I was upset. I stopped playing. I came back Wednesday, Thursday. I was like, okay, let me just knock these out. I still need the wins. I went back in. My solo battles weren't there. Like I would click into solo battles and it pretty much showed me just the leaderboard. Like the week was over and I was like, huh, that's weird. Maybe, maybe they're not refreshed or whatever, but they should have been because it was already Wednesday, Thursday, I think. And I was like, huh, that's funny. Whatever. I left it. I let it be. I came back and sat him. Like, okay, I really got these things done. They were gone again. I was like, okay, so I, I don't know what to do. Then I came back in like Sunday morning when I had no time to play at that time because I was going out. And I see the soul battles are back. And I was like, what? Okay, I'll, I'll play them later then. I come back later, they're gone again. So my soul battles kept disappearing. So that's the glitch that a lot of people were dealing with. The soul battles were disappearing and you weren't actually able to go ahead and finish your solo battles. Which again, if you guys know how solo battles works, every game matters. Every stat matters. So... If you just want to play, if you just want to place Legend, right, which is the best possible thing outside of Top 100, you pretty much have to play all your games and just win. Now, that's not necessarily true in most aspects. Like, I, I believe there's sometimes leeway you could like maybe lose one game. Again, I'm pretty sure with Legend, you got to just win them all. All you got to do is really just win. Just win all your games. That's it. Just win. Don't, you could chew clock. You could suck. You could barely win. Just win all your games. You're gonna be pretty much guaranteed Legend. Well, when Xbox turn off, two Xbox turn offs pretty much knock me out of that. And then you can't if you can't finish your final games. Like one game. To be the difference between MVP legend and top 100 rank 25. Like, I'm not joking. Like, everyone else is doing the same stuff as you. So, all your differentials are like 1K, 2K, 500, 300. Like, that's how different you are from everyone. From like the difference between the like the rank 176 guy and the legend guy could be like literally five to 10 points. And, and you just won't make the top 100 for that reason. So, if you can't play your final game, which is going to be a total of 20,000 plus points, you're going to drop from here all the way down to here. It's just annoying. It's frustrating. Hopefully, they do get a grip on that. Now, again, the Xbox turnoff issues isn't necessarily their fault, so don't don't hold them to that. I mean, I feel as though something within their coding of next-gen games is breaking the consoles, but it's not just them. It's 2K. There's been a few games that's happened on, mainly next-gen sporting games. I don't know. Something with their coding, software, engine, something is causing the console to overheat slash brick. I don't really know because it, it doesn't make sense because if it was overheating, right? If it was an overheating issue, my Xbox technically shouldn't turn back on. And if it did, it would just turn off again. You know, I've had things where I've turned it on for the first time in the day when it was cold and it turned off, it overheated up, well, turned off me, which people say is overheating in the first 10 minutes. And then it didn't turn off the rest of the day and I had it on straight. So like the overheating, the, the theory of overheating just doesn't make sense. When, something, when something's overheating, 
if you only turn it off for a second and put it back on it's gonna overheat within the minute again so that theory isn't making too much sense to me but something with next gen games is just breaking the consoles and i don't know what it is it doesn't happen to everyone but it happens to me and it's really frustrating i shouldn't have i, I tried really hard to get a day one one like a day one console and i guess this is what i have to deal with now it's right over here by the way if you keep wondering why i'm looking over here but yeah it's, it's kind of frustrating and then the second one was weekend league my weekend league was destroyed too it's just kind of frustrating at this point my weekend league was also destroyed so I got into weekend league. I was four and oh. That's not that's not nothing crazy, right? But I'm four and oh. So I'm I'm playing super careful trying to win. I come into game five. I'm up like 21 to like maybe 14. Uh if you know how this game works this year, if you're up 21 14, you won the game. If you have the ball in your hand, you just chew clock. This weekend league was weird. I was playing like a mod Bradshaw on that Super Bowl. I was going down at the one. Like I was trying to fall into the end zone. I was killing time at the end zone. I was chewing clock. It was really weird. Never had to play like that before. But I had the ball in like the third quarter. I was just gonna chew the rest of the half out. It's really easy to just chew it out with the way defense is right now. And my Xbox turned off, so I'm pissed because that would have been five and zero. Oh. Not to mention, now that I, I I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not a pro player, right? I'm good. I'm above average, but I'm not a pro player, so I'm going to naturally lose probably five to seven games, right? I'm gonna probably naturally lose that many games. So now, on top of losing those many games, that doesn't also account for the games I'm gonna turn off now. So I know I'm gonna verse some good players, some better players. I mean, I'm gonna get probably unlucky in a game or two, so I'm gonna lose at least five to seven games. So that leaves me with a maximum win ceiling of 18 wins. Now my Xbox turns off, so now I count eight wins, eight losses, because I'm gonna probably lose at least seven games. So now I get an eight because that was that was one of my wins. Next game, I load right back up. I'm like, okay, well, usually when it turns off, I'm usually pretty good. Also, it was Saturday, like I gotta get going. Like I got 25 games to play. I can't be I can't be messing around. I load in again. And what happens? It turns off in, literally instantly. Instantly, right, right as we're loaded into the game. So now I'm four and two. Now I'm pissed. So I give it like 30 minutes. I let it cool down because I was I don't think it's overheating, but I did it anyway. I went to the bathroom. I got I got some food real quick. I came back. I load up again. Second quarter, I'm up, I'm up 14-7 or 14 nothing. I don't know, but I was up. And I was like, okay, let's get through this game. Like, I'm not gonna get top 100 anymore. That's done. I, you know, you can't afford to lose two free games to get top 100. It was over. So I was like, let me go. Second quarter, turns off again. That's three now. Okay. I stopped playing, I come back Sunday, and I played two more games, and those turned off too. I had was now five, I was like, and I think I won one in between. I was like five and five, and I was, or if I was either five and five or four and five, I don't remember. I, I, don't, I don't remember exactly, but I know that I got like three to five Xbox turnoffs, and I, I only had like four or five wins, but I was undefeated prior. All I know is, once I did that, I, I, I quit. I'm done, I'm done for the weekend. It's unplayable, because 25 weekend league games arguably could take you five to 10 hours. No, sorry, I lied. At least 10 hours. It's gonna take at least 10 hours uh, to play five, 25 weekly games. So why would I waste 10 to 15 hours of my life and pretty much brick my entire weekend to then, if enough disconnects happen, it's it's pointless. But the, the, the rewards are only worth it if you're getting top tier rewards or top 100. It's, and you guys know that's true. I mean, they're, they're good rewards, but not for, for myself at least, right? If you have a really bad team and there's all you got to get coins from, it's fine. I have coins. I have a pretty good team. I need I need coins that are going to help me. Not, not 20,000, 30,000 coins isn't worth my time. I'd rather do videos. It'll make more sense for me. So, yeah. Once I had those five losses, I'm like, and, and none of those were even, like, legitimate losses. Like, none of them were actually me losing yet. So, I was like, what, I, and that's not even the top. The top 10 is usually easy. It's those last 15 games that get hard. So, like, now I'm going to verse hard opponents, too, with even better teams than mine. That was it. I was going to lose at least another seven games after that. So, I was like, that's 12. I'm going to go, like, 12 and, 12 and 13 or 13 and 12. It was no point anymore. It, it was it was ruined. So I and solo battles even more frustrating because at least weekend league is twenty five games. Solo battles you have to literally you can only lose like maybe one game, like one game total that you can you can miss. That's it. And I already missed two right off the rip. It was over. Like that was over too. It it I I, I can't fathom playing solo like literally full game solo challenges where I, I make them forty minutes long trying to grind out stats and then getting disconnected and halfway through I I can't. I don't know what if it's an Xbox problem. I don't know if it's that, but the, the glitch as far as EA goes is the solo battles disappearing. That was their problem. Everything else, I'm not sure what's their problem. I just know that that was their problem. But guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up, guys. And of course, we do have the All Pro Fantasy Packs. If you guys are uh, interested in opening these, 86 plus is 12. percent That's actually not that bad for a $50 bundle. I'm not really sure. Um, so that's not bad. It, it really isn't. Pretty good odds. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, need coins, heading over to Mart Reserve, use code Poodle. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.